Jack reached out to me asking how to use the pocket tool to create a vertical pocket through a cylinder. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. The wording of Jack's question was not precise, so I have a couple of ways of doing this. I will demonstrate the one that I think is what he is wanting to achieve, first of all. If you'd like to support my work, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Your donation will help to improve the channel. It seems to me that Jack is asking how to create a pocket across the width of a cylinder, rather than along the cylinder's length. I need to create a sketch that will allow me to define the pocket, but it's not obvious how to attach that to the cylinder. The answer is not to attach it to the cylinder, rather I need to create a datum plane for that sketch. I generally use datum planes for my sketches as this helps to reduce the impact of the topological naming problem. I like to make the origin visible before creating the datum plane so that I can select which plane to attach to it. I do this by clicking on the origin in the model pane and then pressing the spacebar. Now create the datum plane referencing the XZ plane. You can do this by selecting the XZ plane before creating the plane, or you can do it afterwards. The datum plane now needs to be moved. I'll do this by moving it the diameter of the cylinder in the Z direction. The plane is moved by clicking the expression icon for the in Z direction parameter and setting the expression. I can now change the diameter of the cylinder and the plane will move with it. Select the datum plane and then create the sketch. The origin of the sketch is at one end of the cylinder, but that's not a problem. I'll create a simple square using the centered rectangle tool using the origin as the center of the rectangle. The size of the rectangle doesn't really matter in this case, but I don't want it to be greater than the size of the cylinder. I'll come back to why that is, in this case, shortly. Close the sketch and use the pocket tool to create the pocket. Set the type to be through all to create the pocket across the width of the cylinder. So that's how you can create a pocket through the cylinder. You can adjust the placement of the datum plane and also the sketch to put the pocket where you want it. I'll change the origin of the datum plane so that you can see this in action. Set the rotation angle around the x-axis to be minus 45 degrees and then we'll offset in the Y and Z direction by the cylinder diameter. Once we refresh the display, the pocket will move. Now let's move the pocket to the center of the cylinder along its length. This is done by changing the attachment point of the pocket's sketch. Switch to the data pane and open the attachment offset. Click on the X positions expression icon and set the distance to be half the length of the cylinder. This will move the pad to the middle of the cylinder. I said earlier that you couldn't make the size of the pocket greater than the diameter of the cylinder. Let's quickly explore this. I'll change the size of the rectangle to be twice the diameter of the cylinder to show what happens. This failed because the pocket would cause two solids to be created in one body. The part design workbench does not allow for more than one solid to be created in a body, so the pocket cannot be created. Now let's look at some other examples of how to place a pocket in a cylinder. These are pretty simple examples, but may not necessarily be obvious to some people. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a pocket running for the length of the cylinder. I don't think this is what Jack was asking for, but I'll do it anyway, just to show how it's done. I've already created the cylinder for the demonstration. I'm going to turn on the origin by clicking on it and pressing the spacebar. Now I'm going to create a datum plane referencing the YZ plane and then I'm going to move the origin of the sketch in the Z direction by the length of the cylinder by clicking on the in Z direction expression icon and setting the value to be the length of the pad. Clicking the OK button moves the plane. Now select the datum plane and create a new sketch. Use the create circle tool to create a circle. You could use any shape here provided that it fits within the cylinder. Close the sketch and now use the pocket tool to create the pocket. Set the type to be through all and click OK. This will create a through pocket. A less obvious example is to create a hollow cylinder 
using the sketch defining the cylinder. Let's have a look at how to do that. The sketch for this model contains a circle representing the exterior of the cylinder, but it can contain more than that. I'll place a centered rectangle of the origin of the sketch and make it slightly smaller than the diameter of the cylinder. The cylinder is automatically made hollow by the updated sketch. I hope that you found this video useful. In my opinion, the principles included in the first example are very important. Have a look at my pocket video which demonstrates how to use the pocket tool. There are other tool videos in my FreeCAD tools playlist which may be of interest to you as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.